So in today's video guys, we're going to be talking about the newest Black Ops 4 update and the many pros that have come with this update, but also the one con that has come along with this update. So without further ado, let's get talking about all of this stuff in the new update. So first up, we'll talk about the pros that we have from the newest Black Ops 4 update. So we received Hacienda Twilight, which is an okay-ish map. It's just Hacienda in darkness. It's not too black, but it's very, very hard to see people sometimes on this map. And in this map, they also added a new lane, which allows you to flank through one of the corridors and one of the actual middle sections of the map, which is a nice welcome change. And I kind of wish they'd actually add it into the Hacienda map itself. Treyarch have also done some weapon tuning in the multiplayer, specifically for the Daemon 3XB, the Switchblade X9 and the Mog 12. And I really hope the nerfs for the Daemon 3XB and the Mog 12 Yes, I say nerfs because they're definitely nerfs because these two guns are stupidly overpowered. Every game I get in, the Daemon's being used because of its capability and time to kill. And the Mog 12 and the Dragon Breath or Dragon Fire, whatever the attachment's called, is just ridiculously overpowered. And we need to see some change because they've been fully meta for as long as I can remember. And we need some other guns to use. And I can't really comment on the Switchblade because I haven't really used it much myself. But a lot of my friends say it's quite underpowered. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's a buff. And I'd really, really like to use it in the multiplayer now and see what that's like. So, alongside these changes to multiplayer, Treyarch also added in humiliation finishing moves into heist in multiplayer, and they also added them into the redeploy modes within Blackout. Humiliations are little finishing moves that you can use on a character that you've downed on the enemy team, where you just walk up to them and you stomp on them, and it's quite amusing really. And it also gives you a medal, so you get a little bit of XP extra for that, and I just think it's funny. I think the community quite like this, I quite like this. It'd be kind of cool to see some other finishing moves, maybe in the battle pass or other than the reserve system in the game and yeah just another little thing they've added in but talking about medals that's the next thing on topic so they've added medals into blackout for things like you'd get in multiplayer such as double kills frenzy kills redeploy bonuses for not using your redeploys and redeploy game modes in blackout and this is just another welcome addition to the game you know it's just another way of generating those extra merits or xp in blackout and i like this and i'm sure the rest of the community likes this because this allows us to progress even faster within blackout but, without further ado, let's talk about the biggest and the best thing that came out of this newest Black Ops 4 update, and that's the damn contract system that we've all been begging for since the game released. And this spans across multiplayer, blackout, league play, and zombies. So now we have a reason to jump into every single game mode daily, as they're releasing, I think it's 28 contracts every single day, and the best part about this is about half of them yield you reserve crates, and it's pretty much 5 or 6 in every single game mode. So you're talking probably about 24 reserve crates, Reserves a day extra on top of what you'd usually earn from just playing the game and this just gives us so many more opportunities at getting those godforsaken weapons that they hid in the reserve crates for instance i was playing yesterday i completed my multiplayer contracts and i actually managed to pull the locust out of my fifth reserve from completing the contracts so i can already see the results i really hope this yields you guys some results if you don't have any of these weapons and it's just another thing that we've all wanted for so long and we're so happy to have in the game finally so, so far, I bet you're all wondering what's really wrong with this update, you know, because it does sound pretty positive and I thought it was too good to be true as well. You know, we've got weapon tuning, we've got a new map in multiplayer, we've got the contract system we've all been asking for. Scott, what can really be wrong with this update? This is pretty much perfect. Well, all of this stuff is pretty much perfect. And what isn't perfect lies in blackout guys so they finally added the peacekeeper the s2 stingray the ballistic knife and such all into blackout but they locked them in these new crates called blackjack stashes and that's not so much of a problem because everybody can obtain the weapons and all the dlc guns from the blackout stashes hidden throughout the game modes that are limited time in blackout but what really is the problem is that you cannot pick up any weapon that you have not obtained through the reserve system throughout the entirety of black ops 4 so for instance if you don't have the peacekeeper in the multiplayer or the reserve crates then you aren't having it when you're playing blackout and to me well no not just to me to you the player the other players the content creators this completely ruins the balance of blackout you know somebody who has pretty much all the weapons or just the peacekeeper can just go find one of these blackout stashes hidden throughout alcatraz currently and other limited time game modes and just pick up every gun well if they have every gun every gun that you have through the reserve system and the battle pass system in black ops 4 is in this crate as soon as you open it the snipers the assault rifles the subs the melee weapons all of this stuff is just in there and somebody that's obtained all of this can literally get a loadout from square one they can land find a crate get a loadout from the first minute of the game 
This is completely unfair for every other player because Battle Royales are meant to be completely RNG based and by giving this much stuff to a player in this game mode straight away and you can be surrounded by 40 people. You pick up a Peacekeeper and I've played with the Peacekeeper in Blackout today on Alcatraz and that thing is stupid. It kills so quickly and it's running 5.56 ammo, it's not even hard to find. The ICR runs it, the Maddox runs it, most guns run it. And you can just obliterate people. I mean when I picked up the Peacekeeper today in Blackout I got 15 or 16 kills in one life. And if that's fair then what what is unfair honestly? Treyarch, this needs to be sorted out. You need to make this either available for everybody. I don't know why it's not available for everybody. You should just be able to pick this stuff up on the floor. What is the harm in being able to pick up the Peacekeeper in a game that's going to last 10 to 15 minutes? Not even just the Peacekeeper, the S2 Stingray, if the Ballistic Knife's in there, the Ballistic Knife, everything. What is the harm in being able to pick this stuff up and play with it for 10 to 15 minutes in a game where you don't get to keep it? There is no harm in letting people utilize this stuff in game modes that don't last and they don't get to keep it. Hell, it might even push people to buy more reserve crates or such, and I shouldn't motivate that, but it might if you let them use it and they see how good it is and they're like, yeah, I really want to get that gun. And you've really, really, really nerfed the community with this. It's upset a lot of people. It's upset me. And I really think you need to work this one out with the next update or a hotfix or something. However, guys, I really don't think that Treyarch are to blame for this change in Blackout. If anything, I think it comes back to Activision. And this comes from an article that was posted, I'd like to say yesterday, but I can't guarantee it was yesterday. I saw the article yesterday. That's when I saw it. So I would say it's yesterday by Kotaku on Twitter. And it talks a lot about the development cycle of Black Ops 4 and how Treyarch were treated by Activision during that time and the microtransactions that are currently plaguing the game and how Treyarch don't really seem to have much of an input on what goes in there and what's put into the game and it more so comes from Activision and their design directors and such. And it's a really interesting read. Go read it, I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can read it if you haven't already. I bet most of you already have, So, but if you haven't, it's going to be down in the description. And it really sucks for Treyarch. I read it and I really feel for those guys because they have such a passion for making these games and it sounds like most of their inventive creative ideas get nerfed out because Activision just want to roll around in all the money in the world. And I really, really feel for Treyarch as devs. They've made some really, really good games and Black Ops 4 has that potential to be a great game and it is a fun game. Blackout's fun, multi player can be fun when I'm not getting killed by tons and tons of DLC weapons and zombies is pretty good it's not up to scratch it's not black ops 3 zombies let's be realistic but it's good and they put a lot of effort into that and they've put a lot of effort into this game and I just think it sucks that the guys that run these guys are making such terrible decisions and not listening to the consumer when Treyarch probably really want to listen to us the community and give us what we want in game I think that my main concern after reading this article as I've said in a few other videos of mine is that this form of marketing that Activision seems to love and push so hard currently will plague the next Call of Duty game, Modern Warfare, but we have four months left until the game's even out, and I feel like Infinity Ward, after seeing all of the feedback and chaos that this has caused Black Ops 4 and its community already, will try and counter this to the best of their ability, but only time will tell, and we'll need to be in October, and the game will need to be out for us to even know this yet. But yeah guys, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video, so if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if we could get like 20, 25 likes on the video, I'd be amazed and I'd love to see it. it means you guys are enjoying the content and it motivates me to create even more awesome stuff for you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the new update for Black Ops 4, whether or not you like Hacienda Twilight, what you think of the gun tuning in the multiplayer, what you think of the blackjack stashes in Blackout. I love to see your feedback, it's awesome to talk to you guys and we need more of that going on on the videos. Um, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, go subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you never miss a video from me on the channel. Uh, if you want to follow me on my socials, go over to Twitch and follow me at ZephyrPlayin and go over to Twitter at ZephyrPlayin. I don't really stream a lot right now, but I'll get that going again in the future. But I tweet a lot, so if you want to get in contact with me, the best place to do it is on Twitter. And if you guys need any cool grips for your controllers like thumbstick grips, controller grips itself, or even if you want some cool apparel, Head over to FadeGrips.store and use my code Zephyr20 at the checkout and you'll get 20% off your order. For now guys, I've been Scott or Zephyr. I hope you've had a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Girl, I fuck you better than the next hoe Cause you just wanna fuck